What is going on guys today? We're going to be looking at team of the season for Laney, the 91 CM, who is a four star, four star and is currently coming in at 82,000 coins. Personally, for me, I think the SBC is 100% worth it, regardless of if you're going to use them or not, purely for the fact it is only an 84 rated SBC with one Belgian player and a team of the week or team of the season. So for me, I think that is just so easy to do. And as well with a lot of the upgrade packs, we're getting untradeable fodder from 82, 3, 4 and 5, which can easily turn itself into a 91 rated player. You've then got the option of using him either in a team or obviously as a Belgian player, or as just fodder later on down the line for a moments pack. I think it is just perfect to get this one in. He is obviously a power header and an injury prone, and he is just an OG. Obviously, Premier League's the filthiest player there's ever lived, well, in my era anyway. Honestly, he was fantastic. He just was always up for a scrap, up for a tackle, and he'd, you'd probably put the money on him being red carded in the Merseyside derby. But... He is now a Belgium, no, he's not a Belgium league. He is a Belgium player playing in the Chinese league for that team. We're not going to try and pronounce it. In terms of his stats, he's had a pretty nice upgrade from a 75 common with no informs, no specials. He's gone from that to a 91 who genuinely looks decent. Like I say, four star, four star, six, four. He's got a bit of his, well, he's got a lot of strength, both maxed out. Defensive looking pretty solid. Even his balance, 99 is incredible with the great composure. There's got to be something wrong with him. I feel like the animations are going to be off, but let's not make no judgments. Let's jump in, see what he's all about, and hopefully get a few clips from him. Fellaini is watching Mbappe. I've only just realized as well, he's got the afro. That means so much more to the card. Honestly, that is the iconic hairdo. I thought he may have had it chopped off in this game as well. Let's see what Fellaini is all about. Okay, okay. Oh, no, yeah, it does feel a little bit more stiffer than Bakumbu, even with the the, uh, the agility side of stuff. I think it's more of his balance that, that really can hold him up, but let's give him another go. We kind of didn't give him a fair shout on what we was actually doing with him, as I didn't know where I was actually moving to. Okay, yeah, you can feel you can feel that kind of little stop in between the movements, not the, the quickest in dribbling, which is not a problem because we can use, use that to our advantage. Fellaini... Lovely turn. The one thing that's going to be a really big advantage for him is his strength should really see see him through quite a lot of the battles. Can we find a bit of alarm? It's not where I was anticipating, but I think the strength side of stuff will really help him with holding the ball up. Being able to kind of have that, that kind of long-legged attack should be quite nice for him. And also another benefit that you will get from Fellaini is obviously in the box here. Six foot four, you're going to be able to. If they're not going front post, then obviously he's going to be in the area and asking questions. Airy Lily. Airy Lily? In, in the air, basically, of what, what can he do? What can he bring to the table? And we'll see what we can do bringing it forward. Go with a little one-two with Ronaldo. Managed to get it back to him at least. Fellaini rushing forward. I feel like so far kind of an average dm if anything um i don't really see too much for him but obviously the one thing that i'm always keeping in mind is he is eighty thousand coins he's not 200 he's not free 400k he doesn't cost you anything in terms of transfer market so i'm kind of taking it with a pinch of salt with him but i do think he's good or he's okay in terms of what he can actually bring to the table but he's not really going to change your mentality of a game he's not going to make the first team just yet fellaini with a challenge Back into Fellaini. He's going to keep it rolling. I'm going to go back to Fellaini. Always managed to find his way through. And we've got the header with Cantona that's going to see it in to the right hand side. Lovely stuff. Fellaini with the head. Does win it. Doesn't manage to get it in the direction we wanted. But like I said, that's going to be a big, big advantage from him. The strength element, aggression, and obviously the height really will play in part with how he is as a midfielder. Find Fellaini again. Going to roll it into Matthias. Fellaini again. Oh, he is. He's a little bit slow on that reaction kind of time. Going to find in Bakumbu. No, not quite. That's a poor pass from myself. But in terms of kind of like from the, the time you press B to the A, um, from, from B, sorry, pass to uh, to get actually happening. Well, let me start that again. From the time it takes you to actually pass with him or turn, it does feel a little bit slower than what you'd normally imagine from a top-tier sort of player or a top-rating sort of player, really. 
Well, they did say he was injury prone. Already injured in literally the second or third match that he's played in so far. That's fine. He should be able to shake it off as uh, the wise words from the commentator. So going into the overall for Fellaini then. So like I said, he's coming in at a whopping 80,000 coins across all of the consoles practically. It is because he is just an 84 rated team with one in form or team of the season moments and obviously a Belgian player. So personally, I went for... I don't know if he's in. Yeah, I went for this guy. 14 and a half K, an 84 rated. Obviously, Belgium ticks both boxes. Then if you've got all your Serie A picks, you're easily done. It should be it should be so easy to do that literally it shouldn't take you much time to grind or a lot of coins to do. I do reckon that you're better off doing it with upgrade packs and untradeable cards and then obviously buying the players. But I think that's pretty much self-explanatory by this point. And in terms of chemistry style, we're looking at either Shadow or Hunter. I feel like Shadow is the way to go for this one. 91 pace you end up with and 97 defending. Or you could potentially go with... In fact, no, you can't go with the anchor. That's a good point. I realise that you've only got two jumping to get up. So literally the anchor is rendered redundant. So it is shadow hunter or basic so hunter actually gets you more shooting i'd go definitely with the shadow just because i feel like dm wise he is going to be better than cam so that is just a way to go i did think in terms of kind of his turning does feel slower than what the stats do portray but i think that was pretty much going to be self-explanatory from a six foot four player with the ability of fellaini saying that tackling wise was absolutely fine strength was really good he picked up the ball quite a lot and his passing wasn't awful obviously he's got 97 short 85 long um i think really the only kind of areas he struggled with was there he has the four star four star which is fantastic he does have injury prone which we actually did experience for once which was crazy but overall, for 80k, not a bad card. He is 33 years old as well. So we have seen him through FIFA 10, where obviously his Everton days, probably his most prolific days, then moving into as a Manchester United player, all the way for quite a few years, to be honest, ever since uh, FIFA 19, where then he did make the move over to the Chinese league to kind of finish off his sort of career. Overall wise, I think if you can get him in the club for untradeables, absolutely brilliant. Maybe a super sub, maybe an objective at some point, but most definitely very good fodder for that prime moment SBC when it does come out. Overall wise, I'm going to give him a solid 8.6 out of 10. Let me know down below if you're going to be finishing Fellaini or... Subscribe. See you there.